Snapper and iconic fish and catching them on soft plastics is so exciting. Yeah, beautiful snapper. So today I'm gonna to go through the gear and tackle I use to catch snapper on soft plastics. The first outfit I used, I brought this about 15 years ago and it's a Team Daiwa saltwater rod, which is 12 to 20 pound. It was the very first combo I brought for snapper on plastics. Um, it's a great rod, fast taper, you get nice cast out and I still use it today and it's matched up with a Team Dial Tierra reel. Uh, 3000, um, nice and smooth, got this nice little EVA handle on it and I've used it for years, caught heaps of snapper on it, it's a great combo. And the braid I've got on this reel is Dial J Braid X4, 30 pound, I've got a full spool of it and the leader I'm using is a 20 pound fluorocarbon Neo by Momoi, great leader. Used it heaps on all size stuff and it never let me down. The latest outfit I've got for my snapper fishing, Zodius 274XH, 10 to 20 pound. This rod's super light. Um, you cast it all day long is what I wanted. Seven foot four is good because you can cast a further distance. Um, and I've matched it up with a Vanford 5000. It, uh, beautiful reel, it's got 11 kilos of drag. EVA handle, super smooth to use. The gear ratio on this reel is 6.2 to 1. It's 11 kilos of drag. A weighs about 220 grams. So eight bearings. And the best thing about this reel, every turn on the handle with a full spool is 101 centimeters. So when the snapper are getting you down near the reef, every turn is pulling them away as much as possible. And the braid I'm using in the vat is the Shimano Grappler X8, um, 24 pound. It's super thin. So it just gives that soft plastic a natural fall through the water column and I'm pretty impressed with that stuff. The leader I'm also using that is 20 pound in the Momoi Neo and like I said that leader is always good stuff. Now in the jig heads, we'll go through them. I've been using a few different ones lately. I've always used the nitro salt water versions. I always caught heaps of snapper on them but I've sort of gone away from the silver hook a little bit which then I've gone to the Stealth ones, which they've been awesome as well. Um, personally, I, it doesn't make a big difference, but that black hook I just seem to like a bit more. Um, and then also, I've also gone to these dial ones in the last few trips, only because I've been using a lot of the X10 plastics, the stretchy plastics lures, and um, the new keeper on them are awesome. Once you rig the lure, it, it's really hard to come off, so yeah, I've been impressed with them. Normally the hook size I use is a 5.0 or 6.0, depending on the model of hook or brand of hook. And then I normally use a 1.6, a quarter, a 3.8, a half. When selecting a jig head weight, it's all going to depend on the depth you're fishing, the current and the wind. I like to start off with a 3.8 jig head, and I can work out the, a good sink rate from there as most of your snapper are going to eat the plastic on the drop. And then if I'm fishing really deep water, I might use one of the nitro elevated heads. It'll just get it down there a bit quicker, especially when I'm fishing that 60 to 80 meter stuff. Now I'll go onto the, the plastics. First ones we'll look at are the RT Fork Flex 6 inch. I've actually been enjoying these plastics lately. Um, they've got a nice, I'll grab one here, and a bit bigger profile than some of the other lures. Super stretchy as you can see there. So I've, this one I actually used this weekend. Um, it's got snapper bites all over the jig head. Um, still super sharp, but I probably caught 10 or so fish on this this weekend and look at that on the way over the weekend and still stretchy as. Let's take that out tomorrow and use it again. There's a heap of good colors in it. In them you've got uh, UV clear chart, you got pearl white, you got wagasagi, but there's heaps of good colors in that Molex RT fork range. And the next ones I use, I don't use a lot of these anymore, but they're still good to have in the kit, is the Berkeley Gulp in the nine inch and the seven inch, heaps of different colors. Um, normally I store these in a little container, just get them out of their packets so they don't dry up and leave them in a bucket or a Tupperware container or something like that. Um, but yeah, they're always good to have in the kit. And the other ones I use a fair bit of is the Zen Man Jerk Shads in the seven inch. And again, they come in a huge range of colors. And that is one here. And once again, they're nice and soft. They get nice action on the swim down. Super stretchy. And you just get a lot of fish from these. Sometimes a gulp, you get one fish, but with these, you seem to get multiple fish with them. But yeah, super 
Good, all them brands, all catch fish. I've caught fish on all of them. Um, but yeah, just my preference at the moment is definitely these ones that last a bit longer, a bit more soft and natural and lifelike. The other thing I've been using a fair bit of is the Procure Sense. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the sense actually helps me catch the fish or whether it just masks our scent a bit, but I've been putting it on every, say, 50 casts, and it's probably just a confidence thing for myself, to be honest. Now, a couple of other things that we use, I use on the boat are these Shimano pliers. They're actually a split ring plier, the little on the end, but they got a braid cutter on them, and I use these a fair bit because I use these when I'm jig fishing as well for snapper. So it's a good little tool to have on the boat while you're going around. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It helps me out greatly. And tell me in the comments below what your favorite soft plastic combo is, or even your favorite soft plastic. When you're fishing your soft plastics for snapper, choose a reef around that 20 meter depth range, something with a bit of structure on it, and fish around early morning, fish over top of the reef, that'll help you. You determine where the reef is and get your drift right and then the next couple of drifts drift around the edge of the reef Because snapper if you see them in underwater footage and stuff like that They're normally running around the edge of the reef or upper gutter of a reef. Yeah, try a few drifts Work out where they are Now that's a gear I use for when I'm chasing snapper on plastics If you want to see some other snapper action check out these ones here, but until next time enjoy what I enjoy It's fishing camping and cooking the catch. See you guys